Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, 10% Science Hard Mode, Career Mode. Now yes, as the thumbnail just said, we do lose somebody, and this is the actually the, the very first time I've ever lost a Kerbal in this series. In our grind to make money, even though the Orion 07 is pretty much out of its testing phase, there's still some room for improvement. Any small deviation from the flight plan and you lose a lot of Delta V and end up with no Delta V to speak of during landing. And unfortunately, this design definitely, if you're going to land on land, needs some Delta V. This is to, of course, try to make the vehicle tip forward while the parachutes are still engaged. Because if it lands on its ass and stops, the parachutes disengage and then of course the whole thing falls flat on its face which is exactly what happened here after this i try a few more design changes in order to try to make the craft even safer but inevitably i end up having just to put more fuel and more rockets on it and that seems to fix it yes it's not very efficient but it allows us to have a heck of a lot of delta v left over during landing to give us room to have any mistakes hopefully this kind of tragic incident will never happen again Now sadly I found out the hard way that when you add more weight to the end of this thing it can no longer maintain that flat pancake stance using a combination of drag and weight. That balance has been tampered with and so it ends up going in ass first. It's, it's not bad, it's not horrible, I'm able to do the pancake maneuver for a while slow down a lot before that happens but still just comes to show that one tiny little tweak can throw everything off to try and fix this i added more girder segments to the back it helps out a little bit but it's not exactly foolproof So the idea that I had was that I was going to raise the girders in the back just a, a little bit a little bit higher uh, so that they were higher than the girders that were in the front. Hopefully if, when this thing goes in ass first, the girders will create, of course, drag, but because the drag will be higher than the drag in the front, as it's going in ass first, it will actually lift up the rocket or the back of the craft. It will start lifting it up. And then, of course, the, the, the weight of the rockets will bring it back down, but then the atmosphere would catch those girders again because they're a little higher than the ones in the in the front and it would lift it right back up it grab that lip and it would lift it right back up and of course it'd be this dance between weight and drag the weight would overcome it it dip back down the girders would grab it again it would come back up and it would, it would help slow the craft down much 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 quicker than just dive again ass first that was the theory anyway it seemed to work So now that we upgraded the astronaut complex, we can do EVA science while in space. So I figured, hey, why not just grab a few contracts, go up there and do EVA science so I can make money and do science at the same time.
So the EVA that we got science wise was only 4.8 science, but it pushed us over to 46.5. So we can finally unlock that node. Damn, what a grind. Number seven, basic science research. Of course, that leaves us with only 1.5 science, so we still have a lot of uh, orbital EVAs to do, as well as uh, I'm going to try to go around the KSC and see if I can do some EVA stuff as well. Okay, so we haven't been able to upgrade some sort of building, which would allow the Kerbal to be able to take a surface sample. That's not available at this moment in time. Okay, we got stuck, but those three areas alone gave us 2.3 science, so that's nice. It's still saying runway, even even though I'm way out here. I don't get it. I'm trying to get shore data here. What the fuck? Still on the fucking runway, even though I'm a million miles away. I don't... <sighs> Crap. We're going to have to bring out the science doom slayer. Okay, hear me out. If I get stability now, I can unlock the winglet as well as the aerodynamic nose cone. The radio decoupler, of course, is just a bonus, but the big takeaway from this is going to be the aerodynamic nose cone, so I can actually cap off some of this shit so that it's not creating so much drag. Also, I'd like to experiment with the winglet in order to make, possibly make, SSTO space planes right now. There's no control except for the reaction wheel in the cockpit, but it might work. Not only that, but the skin temperature is 2400K, which I'm guessing is Kelvin, which means that I can actually build, possibly build space planes that can re-enter the Kerbin's atmosphere without popping, since the basic fin is something like 934 Kelvin, which is, means all you gotta do is fart on it and it'll explode, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and unlock stability. Let me know in the comments below if this is a smart move. And don't get me wrong, general construction will give us struts and the ability to make more stabilized vehicles, but as for right now, since we have the new science part, I'm going around Kerbin, which is going to unlock a lot of science, as well the new EVA ability. So I think science is good. I think going around Kerbin and collecting all the EVA science in orbit as well as collecting all the science with the new part from all the other biomes will help us unlock general construction or damn near close to it. But I really think stability is going to help us out a lot. So I'm going to leave it up to my audience. Do you think we should go ahead and unlock this in order to get the new uh, the aerodynamic nose cone as well as the winglets? But that is going to be it for today. I've been grinding. This is like literally four hours of recording maybe five I, I don't know it's it's separated between three different videos or not videos but recordings and I've got to squish all this into like a 10-15 minute video for Monday it's it's Sunday right now so you guys are watching the zombie video but coming Monday around noon before noon you'll see this one so let me know in the comments below but anyway thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you loved it consider subscribing we also have a membership program if you become a member you get cool emojis and badges and stuff next to your name pretty cool check it out and of course that bell notification if it indeed actually works but anyway that will be it for today thank you so much for watching and i love you all stay safe and i will see you in the next video bye for now bye bye i wonder which one actually unlocks the ability to take samples i think it's this one is it this one yep here it is purple eva can collect surface samples blah 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 blah, blah. Oh, 900 000. okay that's that's not going to be anywhere near in our future. Maybe by the time we build a base on Minmus or Duna, then <laughs> we can start collecting shit. Holy crap. Nah, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Anytime soon. Yeah. No, I do not.
Ja, 